Well, as you can see, more people coming in from Ukraine just now. The border between Poland and Ukraine is just there. Polish officials say more than 100,000 people have come into the country since Russia's invasion began on Thursday. A lot of them that we've seen are women and children. There are lots of people standing here waiting. Uh, concerned Ukrainians, the majority of them, who we've spoken to waiting for loved ones to cross the border. It's not just Poland that's been affected. Several other countries in the region, including Hungary, Moldova, uh, Romania, Slovakia that share borders with Ukraine also taking in refugees. We spoke to some of those here to find out a bit more about why they were here. I came from the north part of the Poland, so I have about 800 kilometers to came here to help people. I will be back. For what? For fighting. You're ready because, to fight? Of course, of course, because uh, a lot of Ukrainian love our uh, country. I heard uh, some news from uh, my friends from Ukraine and from Kiev, uh, Kiev and uh, it's horrible, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I'm afraid, but uh, I want to be brave. Yeah. In terms of the welcome that uh, the Ukrainians are getting, have a look at this. Uh, if we go there, you can see lots of supplies. There's wa plenty of water there, uh, biscuits here, snacks, food, nappies there because lots of uh, children are coming here, some babies just uh, across my shoulder as well. And uh, the welcome has been pretty different compared to the way migrants have been received here in recent years. Poland has been criticised uh, in terms of some... Uh, uh, the welcome some migrants, particularly from the Middle East, have received uh, those coming f across the border further north in Belarus, but also uh, further back a few years ago with the Syrian war as well. This was a country uh, that was seen as sometimes hostile by some people towards uh, migrants. It's very, very different here. Uh, th there is an, a sense of solidarity here, and that may be because of what's happening just across that border. And aside from that, very strong cultural links between the two sides. Uh, but this isn't set to stop anytime soon. That border does remain open. You don't need to have a car anymore. You can walk through as well. And uh, all across Poland, that's what's going to happen. Nine centres have been set up to try and welcome these refugees. The UN warns that up to five million can come if the violence and uh, the escalation of war in Ukraine continues.